get control of your privacy by monitoring what actions your iPad can and cannot perform. There are many ways to control the privacy of your data. Apple now allows users to control which apps have access to what kind of data on their tablets, giving you a new level of safety and peace of mind for all those times you're not exactly sure whether an app is using information or not. So this lesson will take you through the privacy settings. So go to settings and then to privacy. And then you've got a few things in here that you need to be able to understand and to enable or disable. So at the top there, location services, if you tap that and turn it on, you can turn location services off. So if I did that and turned it off, then many apps will not be able to find where I am or, or, or know what country I'm in, for example. So if I turned it off, and I wanted to use Find My iPad to be able to locate a lost iPad. It can't find that iPad because you've turned off, effectively turned off the GPS uh, and Wi-Fi hotspot, mobile phone towers, the way that the uh, iPad locates itself. So some things you need to have turned on. So for that reason, uh, location services stays on, but many of the apps that you can see below and these apps will differ depending on what you have on your system but you can allow an app to know where you are to locate you or not to locate you and when you download an app and the first time you run that app it often says can um, we use your location to find you so for example maps google maps if you said no then it's never going to be able to find where your home address is um, let's have a look at that one what you will look at um, the Maps app for uh, the Apple Maps app. And at the moment, I have location services turned off. So when I go into Maps and try and find where I am, and to find where you are, there's a little uh, icon here. When you tap that, that will go to your home address or your home location. So when I tap it, it's telling me you have to turn on location services so that the map can determine where you are. And it's actually telling you, tap settings, and it's taking you straight to that uh, place where you actually have to do it. So when I go back to maps and turn that on, and then go back into the app, and tap the home location, it goes straight to where I am. So you can see the little blue dot, it knows exactly where I am. So for some apps, a lot of them need your location and you just have to turn that on. Now if we go back into settings and there are many apps here, you can go through a lot of them and you can look at, well the, the printer doesn't really need to know where I am so I'm going to turn off location services for the printer. Some of them don't need to know. Uh, the calendar would need to know if you were going to use your uh, location to give you directions to somewhere. Evernote needs to know it because it uses your location to when it creates new notes. So a lot of them use the location for some reason. So some of them need it, some of them you think, well, that doesn't really need my information, so I'm going to turn it off. So whatever you can turn off, turn off, but just have a think about what, why are they needing it and, and do they really need it? Uh, You'll also notice here there's a little symbol here next to Rain Radar and some of the other ones have got a little symbol there and some of, a few others have too. So there's one for Google Maps, one for 7 News and at the bottom there it gives you a, a little summary of what that means. A grey location services icon appears next to an item that has used your location within the last 24 hours and yes I've just used maps and I've just used the rain radar because it's been raining. Uh, I've used Google Maps so it's telling me which apps have looked at and used my location. The uh, purple one recently used your location should be purple and the outlined one appears next to an item that's using a geofence and that's like a virtual perimeter 
So if, if I was to use the Reminders app and I wanted a reminder to tell me uh, when I leave work, uh, remind me to go and buy the milk. It needs to use a geofence so that it knows where work is and when I've left that perimeter. So it can be useful for some of the apps to keep that one turned on and to know what it means. So in this section, in the Location Services section, this is where you turn on and off apps that are trying to use your location. Being a little bit wise about it. You can't turn everything off for you. haven't really got a use for iPad. Uh, tap Privacy to go back. And then you have all these other ones here. These other apps, so Contacts, for example. Uh, photos. And these are apps that have asked permission to use your information. So for, for example, all of the, in the photos here, all of these apps have required permission to access the camera roll to be able to use the photos. And if you say no to one of those, they can't use your photos and you've reduced the usefulness of that particular application. So let's look at an example of that. Let's turn that back on. So there's one called Pixlr Express, which is a photo editing app, a free app. And I've turned off permission for it to use the photos. So when I go into that app, and I want to use an existing photo in my camera roll, so I tap photos, it's going to prompt me. It doesn't have access, so it's not allowed to use any photos unless you give it permission. And this one is not as, as kind as the Maps app. It doesn't actually take you to the settings. You've got to go and do it yourself. So if I went back to settings, privacy, so settings, privacy, photos, and turn it back on, Pixel Express, and then go back to the app. and try and get a photo from the camera roll. I can now see the photos are sitting there and I can go into that photo and go into the camera roll and select a picture and, and work on that picture. So in this series of settings, these are, are apps that have requested permission to use your microphone, for example. So there's voice dictation. You can actually use voice in a lot of these apps. So it's required to ask permission that it can use your microphone to uh, allow itself to work. So you can, again, you can go through each one and think, well, which ones really don't need to use my audio or my microphone? Like Real Director, for example, is an app that puts movies together from images and movies. And you can put a soundtrack on that, a voice soundtrack. What well, needs... Uh, need, it needs permission to use your microphone. So if I went through photos, if there was something in there they really didn't think needed to use my camera, then I could just turn it off by just sliding those, sliding those off. Now the section down here for the social accounts. If you've got a Twitter account, a Facebook account, then uh, some apps can send tweets on your behalf but they have to have permission to use your Twitter account. So if I went into Facebook then some of these uh, apps here need permission to access my Facebook password and my um, my wall whatever I've got in there. So if I was to go into uh, the app, um, let's pick one, uh, Pinterest for example and I wanted to share a picture that I found on Pinterest to my Facebook account, then I needed to have granted the um, access to my Facebook account before it would be able to do that. So another thing in services, at the very bottom, once you get past all the apps, you'll find something called System Services. So when you tap that, there's another set of, of uh, items there that are using your location. Some of them can be on, some of them can be off. And you can see the ones that I've turned off. I've kept the compass calibration on because some of the apps need to know uh, which which direction is north. So, for example, the Maps apps need to know which direction is north and which way you're facing, all those sort of things. 
So I keep that on and you can see recently that that's been used. Within the last 24 hours, the compass calibration has been used. So diagnostics and usage is just monitoring everything you do and sending things to Apple on your behalf and in, you know, trying to help Apple diagnose what's wrong. So I'm going to turn that one off. Don't really need that one on. Location-based eye ads. I don't really need to have ads in certain apps that give me ads that are, are relevant to my location. Uh, so that, that, that's an invasion of privacy, so I'm turning that one off. Mobile network search, you want that one to be on because you need to know what networks are near you or being able to be found by uh, your mobile uh, location. Um, setting time zones and traffic and Wi-Fi networking, well, I think they're really well important to the functioning of, of many of the apps that I use, so I keep those on. But you don't need to have them all on, and some of them have been used recently. So the traffic, for example, uh, you could see traffic patterns on in the maps. The status bar icon at the bottom, if you turn that on, then you can actually see when an app is actively using your location. So I've turned it on. If we go back to uh, Maps, let's go into Google Maps. And you can see at the, the, at the bottom here is where I can tap this and it's going to find my location. So if I do that, it actually looks at where I am, finds my location. And you can see up in the status bar, it's actively now at present using the GPS, the mobile towers, whatever it uses, to see where I am and use that. And so you can see when you're using an app, if you suddenly see the location services icon come up and you really don't think, why is it there? Then you can go into privacy and turn the privacy off for that app. For some of them, it's useful. Now, the last thing in settings is advertising. So you can go back out of location services, back to privacy and then you've got advertising and limit ad tracking you can turn that off and also a reset advertising identifier if you tap learn more it just explains about how iOS uses ad tracking to give you ads that are supposedly more useful and relevant to you um, no ad is useful to me so I turn it off.